Thank you, sir. Salaam alaikum, brothers and sisters. Let me get close to Morshad. You know, tonight is a very wonderful occasion, but an occasion where I go back 30 years with this gentleman as people who have worked, as leaders who have worked from the trenches, and who can understand the pain and the sacrifices minorities like us have to make to get and to break down the institutional barriers that oftentimes keep us out of any kind of influence and power. And it has been 30 years that we have been fighting side by side, although in different communities, Morsha in the Bangladeshi American community, and myself in the Indo-Caribbean community. But the confluence of vision and hard work was common to both of us. I was the first recipient of the New American Democratic Club, of which Morsha had formed. And from then on, we knew we had a job to do. Now, America is a nation of immigrants and a proud nation as such. But never let us forget that the barriers we conquered, the roads we have traveled, the jungles we have penetrated were are not very easy. And many times we are on some. And that is why what Morshad has brought in his lifetime, just like mine, is that we stood for a bigger cause. We went against the system many times. We went against a system that was not very kind nor um, appealing to us. In a sense, it wasn't going to include us unless we had broke down those walls. And we continue to do that. You know, one of the things I found is that many young people who are going into politics today, they are only going into it because they want to see the neon lights. In our time, we never went for that. We went for the vision of empowerment, the vision of strength, the vision of making our communities more diverse and more recognized. And that fight continues today. And many were distant to a gerrymander. And when Murcia defeated, almost defeated Parvan, there was also another set, set Republican uh, senator named Sir Maltese. And when I ran the next time against him due to the groundwork and the work that he had done, I got 49.5% of the votes. So we were able to push the, the football further and further in field. And we continue to push it today. Today I had the distinction of being the second elected, second time elected district leader in two different assembly districts. And that all has a conference to Morshad because that is what we have to do. We, this legacy is for us to continue the work, the foundation, the strength, and the inspiration that he has caused or that he has uh, brought into fruition. And we have to continue to ensure that we can go further, take our seat to the table of government and be equal to everyone else. And if for anything else that Morshan has stood for, is that he has stood and fought for equality, empowerment, and unity. So brothers and sisters, I invite you to rise with me and give a warm round of applause to Morshan Alam, a champion, a hero. Rise and give him a warm round of applause, please. This man deserves your standing up and cheering him for what he's done, the legacy he's left, and for what he stood for in his lifetime, and for what all of us have stood with him in forming the cause of South Asians. And I stand proudly here to let you know that as the first South Asian elected to be a district leader, and now twice, we will continue to push the ball. And it all belongs to this one man who set the stage, Murshad Alam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. আপনাকে টার্গেটটা ঠিক করতে হবে আপনি কি করবেন মোর্শেদ আলম আমাদের সেই প্রতিক্রি যিনি দেখে গেছেন সেই আলম পত্রিকা প্রিয় সুধি আমি মঞ্চে আহ্বান করছি আমাদের আর এক পরীক্ষিত বন্ধু জেনাব নাসির আলী খান পলকে যাকে আমরা সবাই বলে থাকি 